I think I broke the game, guys. I think I broke... I think I broke the game. Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Terra Tech episode. Now, last time we played, we got this VTOL working pretty nice, and we also level up some of our licenses here, but... We still need to level them up quite a bit, but this episode what we're going to be doing is we are going to try to actually build some more planes, but I don't know if it's possible because we don't have all the parts currently. We're still missing a few of them. We also aren't able to get any more gyroscopes. Also, I modified this one so that we can actually go higher now. I think we could probably go as high as we want now. Look at that. Almost don't see the ground. <laughs> but what I want to do pretty much is make some stealth bombers or some bomber planes and also some scout planes this one's nice and all but um it's not that efficient it flies nice but it's not fast and um you can't put any weapons on it either i guess we could but it wouldn't look very nice <laughs> anyways what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to borrow the gyroscope from this uh vtol here because we don't have another one and we can't buy another one until we are um level three in venture that's not a problem though We'll just throw this over there. Eh. Oh, that was a little too far. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna grab that. And we're gonna use that for some of our planes. Because these are pretty useful for building planes. It'll even out the um, balancing of your planes. So we're gonna put this on our vehicle here for now. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna buy a, um, a Cosmonaut Sap cab. Because that one, um, we can actually put stuff on the front, I believe. Yeah, we can. We're gonna prop this up like this. And we're gonna start building. Now, I got a bunch of parts in my uh, SCU here. I don't wanna spend too much money yet. Um, I guess we could we could scrap a bunch of the parts that I have in here, but we don't need to do that right now. All right, it's powered up now. We're gonna go into our inventory here. We're gonna get some of these spare parts that we have. We're gonna put one here. We're gonna prop this up again. We're gonna put a aerofoil right about... Um, Actually, we should probably put our aerofoil there, like that, and then we could put a few parts in the back here, like that, and have one there, and then we're going to add our wings and a propeller. we got one propeller here, put that on the front, that looks a little weird, but it should work. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get our wings, we got a lot of wings, there we go. Awesome, that looks like it might work. I'm not sure. Don't don't uh, quote me on that. <laughs> We're gonna grab our wheel blocks here. I got a bunch of these stabilizer wheels. Those seem to work the best. Um, have one on the front like this, like a standard plane. Well, not sideways like that, but we're gonna turn that. We're gonna put these ones on the back here. There we go. And that might work, but we need to add our gyroscope to it. We're gonna put this on top. Oh, that looks a little weird. I think we can we can replace some parts here. There we go. That should work. Hopefully, let's test it out. Oh, it stalled. I'm not sure why it stalls like that. There we go. That seems to be working now. Awesome. But we have no way of turning. <laughs> we need to get to our uh, rear aerofoil, our rudder, so that we can turn. We're gonna have to land this as best as possible. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Now I have to drive all the way back in this slow little thing. There we go. Oh, we want to be careful. We don't want to go towards the enemy yet. That's not good. Tur. <laughs> there we go. We're turning now. It just takes a little bit of practice to get used to the controls of some of the some of these planes. We got to add the rudder though, so we can actually properly control this thing. Now, where is our little workstation? I think it's like over here somewhere. <laughs> so many enemies. Okay. There it is. Can we can we land it properly though? Let's see. There we go. Coming in for a landing. We're gliding pretty well though. This thing glides really nice. There we go. That wasn't such a bad landing. Okay. Now we really need to find some more of these gyroscopes. Without the gyroscope, our plane would have um, plummeted to the ground because the nose would have went down or the tail would have went down. All right. Um, okay. And we're going to add our rudder now. Um, I don't think I have one in the SU, so I'm just going to buy one. There we go. Now, this might make it unbalanced, but we will see. Okay. 
There we go. There's our little scout plane. It works pretty well. Um, it has too much upward lift though. So we might need to balance out the front a bit. It works good. It works pretty nice though. Does it have a lot of glide to it? It still does. That's awesome. All right. So we really don't need to fix that problem with the upward lift. Because if we really wanted to, we could just fly up and we can stop our engine and, and it could just glide here. Plus, that's a little more stealthy. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to kind of turn our way down like this. All the way down to our workstation. That's pretty nice. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get my gyroscope out of there. Um, what I could do, though, is I could probably put this back one like this. That might actually help with the weight as well. And then we could probably just put a block, a three block right there. If we ever wanted to remove the gyroscope, that should help. Now they need to have corner blocks for decoration. I don't know if they do or not, but um, that would look pretty nice. So there we go. Now some of you were telling me to build a runway, but the problem is I don't think we can actually build a proper runway because our planes won't be able to drive on other blocks because uh, I don't think it works like that. It would damage both the vehicles, the, the, the runway and this vehicle but it, it could it's probably possible but I'm not sure all right we could probably just put this like right here if we ever wanted to remove the gyroscope that would work actually we might be able to just leave that block there modular parts like that it looks a little weird and it still flies nice it's pretty stable as well does it still glide? Yeah, it still glides. And it actually goes to the ground a little easier too. That's what I kind of wanted. All right, this one looks a little funny. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that piece right there, but um, let's get started on our next craft. That will be the um, fighter plane or the bomber. I, I don't know, it's not really a bomber. It's more of a fighter plane. We're gonna land this at our base here. Look at all the junk around our base. I don't like that. Now, I think those disappear after time as well, so that's good. We don't really have to pick them up, but if, if it gets too messy, then I will. So we're going to take this here, and we're going to go throw it back over there. That was a worse throw than the last one. <laughs> All right. Luckily, we're, we're close enough. All right, so I looked at some pictures of the prototype planes, and also I've seen some other pictures of other people's planes, and I'm kind of going to use that some of their designs on this plane so we're gonna have a big block here we need another cab though okay might as well buy another one we're gonna go in here buy this cab here gonna put this one like this prop ourselves up and there we go now we're gonna need a bunch of these pieces here I say about three now I don't know if this is gonna work I say that for all my creations because a lot of them are just tests Actually, we could probably just do with just two layers like that. I'll put this up there. <laughs> and we'll cover that back piece up with a single one. Like this. Um, I don't know if that's going to be long enough. Okay, that's where our gyroscope could go. Right there. There we go. Throw the gyroscope on while we can. Awesome. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the turbines. And we're going to put a bunch of turbines on the side. Now, there we go. And this might help with lift. I'm not sure how this is going to look. We're going to need a bunch of these, though. There goes all my money. And we're just going to layer the side with these turbines. Okay, so there we go. There's the one layer. We could probably put one more there, though. I think I'm going to do that. This is going to turn out really bad. I don't even know if this thing is going to work. It might though. It looks like a good plan to me. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to grab our wings here. Our left ones. We're going to just layer the side here with these wings. Now, I don't know if that's going to work. Might need to might need to balance them out a bit. Um, I'd say like that maybe. Okay, I don't have any I don't have any more left ones, so we're going to have to do with that. And now we got to layer the left here and add the other wings. <laughs> so there we go. That looks crazy. Okay, and then we need to add some wheels so that we can actually take off, if we can at all. 
Oh, this thing might just destroy itself. Um, I think we should have some of these. That should work. Doesn't really look like a plane's type of wheels though. And then a hub wheel on the back should work. Like that. And for the last thing, we need to actually add the rudder aerofoil. We're gonna put that on the back somehow. Like this. Let's test, let's test this monstrosity out and see how it flies. Okay. Here we go. There is no lift. <laughs> It's just gliding on the ground, really weirdly. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> All right. Oh, don't run into the, don't run into the, the the battle vehicle there. All right. We need to add more lift. So I think what we could do is we can move these wings. We want it to be more close to the center, like this. Will that work? This one right here. Okay. Let's test that out. There we go, it's working, but there is too much frontward lift. So we gotta we gotta kind of adjust those. Oh, don't fall to the ground. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. No! <laughs> We're going down. <laughs> um I don't know what's happening. I don't Oh no. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Luckily this game does not have uh, a real damage model. Just falling to the ground like that would surely destroy some parts on a plane, if not all of them. Ah, <laughs> uh, did that guy have to spawn right there while I'm driving by him? There we go. Oh, he's still not dead. There we go. Luckily I have armor on the back of this thing. Nice. Okay. Um, so I probably can kind of space these out a little better than that. These ones here could probably go back one. Let's see that. Still a little funky, but it works. Oh, oh, okay. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. There we go. So once we're in the air, we could just use our shift to control the uh, turbines. Then we can use W and S to actually control the elevation, which is awesome. So this is working, but can we actually add weapons to this thing? Um, we got a lot of spots for it, but can we, how high can we go in this thing? Without falling to the ground. I think we're pretty high. I don't think there's any space in this game yet. <laughs> um, but we're pretty high. Can we get past those clouds though? Is the real question. Alright, um, I've been going up for quite a while. Um, it doesn't seem like there is much up here. So we're gonna go back down. Straight down like this. Plummet, oh, we lost, we lost, we, we lost our control. <laughs> um, I don't know how far I am from base, but we will see. We will see. Uh, how, how long is it gonna take me to see the ground? I don't know. How high are we? <laughs> they need elevation meters. I don't know if there is any. I know they have speedometers. Oh, I think we're getting pretty close. Oh, there's the ground. There's the ground. That's really funky looking. Okay. Um, oh, is that our base right there? Is that our little checkpoint? That is not... No. Ooh, the ground looks weird. Okay. That is an enemy's base. And there's my base. Um, I think I broke the game, guys. I think I broke... I think I broke the game. I, the, light, the lighting is all messed up or something. <laughs> Alright, I'll have to come back in. Alright, we're back. We fixed the level. Um, I, I did break it. I don't know how. I don't know what happened. It looked like the light mapping was all messed up. If they have light mapping. I'm sure they do. But anyways, uh, here we are. Back with our plane... Now I want to add some weapons to it, but I don't know if that's possible. We could probably throw some underneath. But uh, yeah, let's get our SCU wherever it went. And we're going to put some weapons on this. Even though it's probably a little too fast to actually do any damage for enemies. Uh, weapons aren't very good on planes because you'll have to go around a lot. And the enemies might actually damage you more than, they damage, uh, than you damage them. Add this other one under here like that. 
Now that might work a little better. Oh, we're still missing a turbine though. Okay, we gotta rebuy that. I'm almost out of money too. I'm at 7,000. I had 30,000 when I started. Well, I think 20, but 30,000 when I tried recording the other episode. Oh, that was backwards. Oh, that backflip. Okay, that's not gonna work. That should work. Let's test it out. It's gonna lift up. And then we initiate the turbines. And there we go. We can control it. It looks pretty good. Does it, does it, um, it kind of glides. Kind of glides. If we add some weight to the front, it should work. Maybe. But there we go. It's working pretty nice. And we have these guns too. Alright, there we go. We have our, I don't know, our really fast, fast, um, fighter bomber thing that has no bombs on it because, uh, it's a little too heavy when it does. But we might be able to build something bigger in the future if I kind of get some more parts. I need some more gyroscopes and stuff for my other plans because I'm just reusing them. But, uh, yeah, I think it was successful even though we tried many times. We got three planes. We have this one here. We have our little scout plane, and we also have our VTOL, which I think is good for carrying some stuff, not too much. But anyways, guys, if you have any suggestions for planes or how I can build this stuff better, please let me know. <laughs> I'm very limited, though, with parts, but I think we can manage. I'm going to level up in between episodes. I'm going to level up my licenses a little bit, um, get some more parts here and there. And if you guys have any suggestions on what, kind, what I should build next or what I should do next, please let me know. But thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.